you all will be fine at your homes welcome to the science class so kids now let's start a class with an etiquette let's start a class with an etiquette the etiquette of this week is keep the things at its place after using them kids you should always keep the things at its place after using them so i hope all of you will follow this etiquette good now let's move to our gk questions so kids now let's see the first gk question the first gk question is which is our national flag i repeat which is our national flag yes our national flag is tricolor our national flag is tricolor which is our national flag our national flag is tricolor good now let's see the next question which is our national water animal which is our national water animal yes our national water animal is dolphin our national water animal is dolphin repeat again our national water animal is dolphin good so these were your gk questions now let's learn some sight words so kids tell me which sight word is this yes this is the repeat again the repeat again the which sight word is this the good now let's see the next sight word which sight word is this c which sight word is this c repeat again c repeat again c so these two were our sight word good now kids it's time to do the revision it's time to do the revision so kids today we will revise about the water animal today we will revise about the water animal so kids tell me what are water animals yes water animals are those which lives in water water animals are those which lives in water we can see them in river sea ponds or in our houses kept in aquarium we can see them in river sea pond or in our houses kept in aquarium they eat their food and breathe in water they eat their food and breathe in water so kids now let's see some water animals okay tell me what is this yes you are right this is fish this is fish and what is the spelling of fish f i s h repeat again f i s h f i s h fish good now let's see the next water animal what is this yes this is starfish this is starfish and what is the spelling of starfish s t a r f i s h s t a r f i s h repeat again s t a r f i s h starfish good now let's see the next example what is this yes this is frog this is frog and what is the spelling of frog f r o g f r 
O G. Repeat again. F R O G. Repeat once more. F R O G. Frog. Good. Now let's see the next example. What is this? Yes, this is shark. This is shark. And what is the spelling of shark? S H A R K. S H A R K. Repeat again. S H A R K. Shark. Good. Now let's see the next example. What is this? Yes, this is octopus. This is octopus. And what is the spelling of octopus? O C T O P U S. Repeat again. O C T O P U S. Repeat after me. O C T O P U S. Octopus. Good. Now let's see the next example. What is this? Yes, this is whale. This is whale. And what is the spelling of whale? W H A L E. W H A L E. Repeat again. W H A L E. W H A L E. Good. So kids, these were your sum of the water animals. I hope all of you have learned this. Good. So now kids, let's move to our main topic. Let's move to our main topic. So kids, so far we have studied about the living things and non-living things. But we have studied, we have studied about the living things and non-living things and today we will study the difference between these two we will study the difference between these two okay now let's start so tell me what are the living things yes living things are those which has life living things are those which has life and what are the non-living things Non-living things are those which don't have life. Non-living things are those which don't have life. Good. And kids, as we know that living things need food, air and water to live. Living things need food, air and water to live. But on the other side, non-living things don't need any food, air and water. Non-living things don't need any food, air and water. Now kids, in this picture, you can see that the flower has grown from very small size to the big size. And on the other side, pencil remain the same. So that means living things can grow living things can grow but non-living things cannot grow but non-living things cannot grow now kids as we know that we can move from one place to other so the living things can move from one place to other living things can move from one place to other but on the other side non-living things cannot move by itself non-living things cannot move by itself now let's see the examples living things include man all plants like trees flowers and all animals like dog cat lion and many more living things include man all animals and all plants and on the other side, the examples of non-living things are like 
पेंसिल बुक कार फैन एंड मैनी मोर पेंसिल बुक कार फैन एंड मैनी मोर सो किड्स दीज वर दी डिफरेंसेज नाउ लेट्स रिवाइज वंस अगेन लिविंग थिंग्स हैज लाइफ वेयर एज नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स डोंट हैव लाइफ लिविंग थिंग्स नीड एयर फूड एंड वॉटर टू लिव वेयर एज नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स डोंट नीड फूड एयर एंड वॉटर टू लिव लिविंग थिंग्स कैन ग्रो वेयर एज नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स कैनॉट ग्रो लिविंग थिंग्स कैन मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अदर वेयर एज नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स कैनॉट मूव बाय इट सेल्फ लिविंग थिंग्स लाइक मैन एनिमल एंड प्लांट्स वेयर एज नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स लाइक पेन पेंसिल बुक कार एंड मैनी मोर सो केयर्स दीज वर योर डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी लिविंग थिंग्स एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव लर्न अबाउट दीज गुड सो केयर्स नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर योर क्लास वर्क सो ओपन योर साइंस नोटबुक केयर्स ओपन योर साइंस नोटबुक राइट डाउन दी डेट क्लास वर्क राइट डाउन दी डेट क्लास वर्क एंड नो डाउन दी टाइटल एंड नो डाउन दी टाइटल ड्रॉ एनी टू पिक्चर्स ऑफ वॉटर एनिमल एंड कलर दैम ड्रॉ एनी टू पिक्चर्स ऑफ वॉटर एनिमल एंड कलर दैम सो किड्स यू हैव टू ड्रॉ एनी टू पिक्चर्स ऑफ वॉटर एनिमल एंड यू हैव टू कलर दैम सो दिस वॉज योर क्लास वर्क नाव इट्स टाइम फॉर योर homework now it's time for your homework so on the next page write down the homework on the next page write down the homework write any five fruits name write any five fruits name so kids this was your homework and this was your all about today's class i hope all of you have enjoyed the class and learned the things good now we will meet in the next class so kids stay safe stay healthy bye bye